The Data Cloud Diaries, accessing a calculated insight through the Data Cloud API. Welcome back to the Data Cloud Diaries. Now in past episodes, we've built up data, brought it in through the data lake objects to the DMOs, and then we actually built calculated insights. These are SQL calculations that can run against your calculated data. Salesforce will run them and hold their current values and whenever there are updated DMOs, it could recalculate those calculated insights. So this could be some pretty advanced calculations sitting inside of Data Cloud. And you may want to pull that data out and get access it. So I'm going to show you how through Postman, you can tap into your calculated insights and pull that data out. So here we are in Data Cloud, and here is a calculated insight. Let's take a quick look at the SQL that I wrote. So what we're gonna be doing is it's going to be grouping by the arrival ICAO airport, and it, that is gonna be one of the dimensions, and the measure is a count. So what we're doing is we're looking at the, like, we're also grouping it by month. So what we're doing is we're taking the arrival airports by month and counting them with um, the grouping by the month and the grouping by the airport ICAO. And so this is the SQL statement to run that. I can also leave this open. We're going to open another tab and we can take a look at this through the Data Explorer. So I pick my namespace and right now I have my own data space, excuse me, my data space. I'm going to pick the iCal and what, the calculated insight and then we're going to go departure to airport month. So what we have here is a set of calculated values. Now my data has a decent number of values. So if we come over to my Arrow Airport Traffic Data Stream, we see I have about 175,000 records. These represent takeoff and landings, currently only out of the Phoenix Airport. Um, but what we've got is this, these could be some pretty advanced calculations running not over a, you know, a couple hundred thousand records, but this could be running over millions of records. And the final calculated values could be very important that we might want to get really quickly. And so, here is a calculated insight. Now, the Data Explorer is only showing us 10 columns and 100 rows, and we may want to access this in its fullest extent through an API. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how we can get this data out from within Postman. So let's take a look at Postman. Now here's Postman. Now because I'm accessing this data, from a data space, you have to go straight direct to the Data Cloud API. And a way to do that is you take your Salesforce credentials and you exchange them for a Data Cloud credentials token. So you have to authenticate off the OAuth 2 endpoint. Then you're going to get your auth token and you're going to call the A360 token endpoint right here. And you're going to pass in the grant type subject token and subject token type. Now I'm not going to show my whole current subject token, but these are going to be showing you that you're going to need to do what's called a token exchange. And then once you do that token exchange, you can go and start making direct queries. And so what we've got is here, I've got my bearer token, and now I can look at the body. And this could be some SQL that I can run. And I can test this by executing and this is my ability to run SQL. And this is some SQL I wrote that's uh, doing um, calculations with grouping. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and take a look at this calculated insight. So I'm going to copy the calculated insight. I'm going to go back over to Data Cloud. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste this in here. So let's just get rid of it. The error. So now what I've got is I have my actual actual calculated insight SQL and I can run it as a query. And this is now returning my calculated insight. Now, if you want to run your own queries, you will um, you're, you're going to have to be able to call them and handle that, you know, potential timeouts and large data volumes. The advantage of a calculated insight is that Salesforce will run them and keep the final values ready for you, and it'll run them when the data changes. So they could take a while to process, they could have a large amount of records, 
and Salesforce will keep that data for you. So what we want to do is we want to be able to run this through the query. So there is another query that you can call. It's show the CI. And what you do is in its header, you need your bearer token. So there's my bearer token, which is I've got what the first call. Now we're going to go into the body. There is no body. This is a straight get. So what we're going to do is have your calc your endpoint, and then you have calculated dash insights, and then you place the name of the calculated insight. And you'll notice, so if I take this calculated insight, it's the CIO suffix. So I'm going to take my calculated insight CIO suffix, go back to Postman, and you can paste that here. So this way it will run the calculated insight in its current state and feed you back the data. You'll notice it's in a slightly different form, but this is with the dis di different decimal precision. But this is us pulling the computed calculated values through the API. What we can do is we can demonstrate that by shifting to a different one. So here is the data explorer. We're going to go the count per airport. And now we're going to be expecting the ICAL number, traffic type, and count. So we're looking for departure count per airport. So we're going to go from here, departure count per airport per flight. We're going to grab the CIO name. And again, this is going to be your 360 endpoint with API v1 insight, calculated insights. And then we're going to paste this here. And what we're going to do is we're going to execute. And this allows us to run our calculated insights on command. And here's another one. What we can do is you can take the expression. You can run it in the direct query. And it recommends that you do the API v2 query. So what we're going to do is hit the API v2, paste this in. This is running the full one. All right. Column not found. Let's take a peek. And so this is a different one that I just pasted in. And it's running just fine. So from here, you can just come to your calculated insight, get its CIL name, paste it here. And that way you can see the same data, but run as a computed calculated insight. So to summarize the journey, what we did is we have taken the data from the airports, pulled it from the API, and are pushing it into the streaming API, or excuse me, the ingestion API, and we pushed it through either the bulk mode, or we're also pushing it in real-time mode. And we're doing that because we're about to set up some streaming um, insights. So now we have the data coming in, it's coming into the, to the stream, which is hitting the data model objects, I mean, excuse me, the data lake objects, goes to the data models. And then once it hits the data models, the calculated insights kick in and hold your calculated values. And we can then tap into those values either in a Salesforce or, or outside of Salesforce using the APIs. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Thank you for calling in for the insights. Um, join me again, same bad time, same bad channel www.stevetechark.com and YouTube Steve Tech Arc. Thank you.